hi guys today in this video we will learn how to make a transistor based amplifier within the proteus so first of all for this circuit we need one transistor some capacitors and some resistors on the output we have connected an oscilloscope for the visualization of the output signal so we will start from the left side on leftmost side you can see a sinusoidal signal so click on it you can see that we have selected a sine signal and its amplitude is 1 and its frequency is 12 hertz and this signal is considered as our input signal after this input signal we have one capacitor mentioned as C2 whose value is 1 microfarad and which is a non-polar capacitor here as we know that in series capacitor acts as a high pass filter it can block the dc component within the signal or signal with less frequency after it we have two resistors that is r1 and r5 the first value is 4.7k and the second value is 1k so they are acting as the voltage divider capacitor after this voltage division our signal is feeding into the base of the transistor 2N3904 transistor is actually a BJT that is that is bipolar junction transistor we have after after this we have this RC resistor that is resistor on vector terminal of the transistor and RE resistor on emitter terminal of the transistor RC can be will, 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 will behave as a current limiting resistor so that so that after becoming after going to saturated state or you can say that after going into the short mode what is short mode actually when when transistor is having some sort of signal on its base it can their signal will be amplified means the quantity of the signal is amplified and actually collector and emitter becomes even not if not permanently but you can say that they they, they become short so the signal which is coming at base now then amplified on the output side that is after rc we have connected 10 microfarad capacitor in order to get the output both the signals that is signal arriving at base and collector both have the same symmetry the difference between this base signal and this collector signal is just that both have different amplitude or magnitude we have used a battery of 9 volt in order to bias the transistor now 
oscilloscope you can see that this oscilloscope is connected to the input side that is you can see that it is going to input side and one is attached to the one prod is attached to the output side the green one now we are supposed to run it and yes now you can see that the input signal magnitude is very less while the output signals magnitude is multiple times that of the input signal so here we achieve the amplification of the signal due to some sort of noise we can see that some of the part of the output signal is not so good like the input all this is due to the noise factor hopefully you understand all this now you can make it at your own thanks for watching